Okay. Is there any way to get this thing to not be dumb? No, maybe not. Hello? Hmm, I'll have to preview it. The main screen, once I turn all the noise-making fans off. Ay ay ay! Oh, yeah, also. No, it's just a mess today. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow, that is... Okay, that is a very wide angle that uh, the preview screen kindly does not show me during the live bit. Oh, boy. So I'm going to have to... I'm adjusting it, and I'm using the... <laughs> oh, I'm using my preview screen on the computer as my live reference. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have hit live yet. I was not ready. That's fine. Whatever. Hello. Hello. I see we got Phoenix in the house. What's up? We're going to be installing SteamOS. Um, but just to play it safe, uh, I need to install um, a better, potentially more compatible graphics card. Uh, and I have not opened this thing in a couple years now. So I'm terrified to see what my cable management work was like. Because uh, I think the last time I worked on this, I, I live-streamed, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, let's, let's see. Um, not, not the worst. Could be better, but uh, <clears throat> we're going for function, not form today. Um... But on the topic of, of function and form, I need to figure out what uh, what kind of hard drive or, or drives in general I have in this thing. So, how is everybody doing? I see we have uh, five people watching. That's awesome. That's actually really, really cool. Let me uh, pull up my my live manager here. Huh, I had not put it into, into a category. Can I manage it? Is it going to let me manage it? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Boom. Hey, there's what I was looking for. Fine, Phoenix, you're doing fine? Well, that is just fine, then. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, I still don't, I still, I still don't like that. I gotta get this. Oh, I cable managed this thing super tight because I don't think I was anticipating getting another GPU. Oh, how much RAM? Oh boy. I see one, count it, one stick of RAM. We'll get that out after the GPU. Ooh, it smells like old hot electronics. That's a good sign. That goes well. I haven't, I haven't started this. So before, before even before even diving into this, you probably, usually you want to boot a computer up before you go and try to, you know, tear it apart and change things. So if you do break something on the way, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, you, you know what you changed so you can fix it. Uh, I didn't do that. So that's, that's good. Uh, oh, it doesn't have a plate. Mm. Yep, put it in that. We're doing full conversion for the back panel bits. Because this is one of those cheap cases. <gasps> oh! Oh! No! Oh! My god. There are, cap oh, there are capacitors down there. And I just bent this over top of those capacitors. Okay, yeah, this thing starts uh, will be will be a business because yeah if this thing starts it'll be a miracle uh, <laughs> that's why I hate these can pop out metal tabs they're so stupid and I just did that and I don't have a screw to replace it with <sighs> this is going well it's 
going very well. Let's just get the damn GPU out. Oh, well that had no threads on it to hold the GPU, so you're gonna get moved down to here, where you do apparently hold. All right, so this GPU is gonna be hold, held in with one screw. Because we'll just prove that the other screw was a quitter. One, two, three. You got anybody else joining in, or y'all just kind of like lurking, or are you just cringing at how bad my, how bad and brutal my PC skills are? I used to work in Geek Squad. I did this professionally. Okay. I don't even remember what this is. Oh God, it's a GTX 960 Super Super Clocked Edition. Man, that is old. This thing's probably like a. Well, I don't know. With the spike in the graphics card cost, this thing's probably worth like, I don't know, 90 bucks now, but God, when that thing was older, it would have been like, probably worth like 40 before the spike in GPU cost. I'm just gonna put it in the, uh, in my shelf of random GPUs. And we're gonna be using, what is this, an RX 580? Yep, we're gonna be using an XFX RX 580. Use duct tape. <laughs> oh, that's right, I didn't check to see how much memory this thing has. It's probably eight gigs of RAM. Oof! That's exactly what that is. That is eight gigs of RAM, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. And I don't think I have another stick of Crucial Ballistics. So I'd like to have I'd like to have 16 in this. Granted, SteamOS only recommends uh, four minimum. What, wait, does it recommend four minimum? What is it? Four gigs or more of RAM, 200 gigs of storage space. We gotta figure out uh, what our storage situation in here is as well. Okay, actually, no, we're good. I see an SSD. I don't know what SSD I put in this thing. Ugh. When you've been building PCs long enough that you just have parts in, in a computer and you don't remember what you used, no, oh, it's a it's an old, oh, it's an old 240 gig. That's fine. We don't need anything super crazy for this. I just want to see what SteamOS is all about. Um, and it might also shut up some of the Linux fuckers that keep bugging me. So, okay. Um, but we are going to put the RAM back in the closer slot. So at least we're, you know, getting hopefully the most out of it. I don't remember how that works. I don't think that's the case, but we're gonna give it a shot. I think it's only, I think it's only NVMe SSDs where it matters. Okay. I also didn't measure this, so we'll see. With how bad the PS5 is for storage, times have gotten much better. Well, I mean, considering the PS5 still doesn't have good storage, and it's you know, the you know, I, I'd like to, um, yeah. We can, we can, you can add standardized storage. And it's like, well, unless I, you know, unless somebody is as psychotic as me and has a ton of Xbox games from a massive library, uh, most people don't need to get more storage for their Xbox Series X. Um, I would almost recommend anybody getting a PS5 to get more storage right out the gate. Um, but yeah. All right, let's see here. Oh god, I definitely didn't measure this. Oh no, the cable's trained in the wrong direction. That's what it, oh shit. All right. Mm. And also just like, you know that smell when you like pop something electronic and it just gives you that smell? Like this just has that smell inherently, and I don't know, I don't know what that says about the components other than the fact that I did. This is my cousin's computer. He had, he has an M1, uh, an M1 MacBook Air now, so he's definitely got a better computer than what I built him. But this was actually pretty good for its time. It's actually pretty solid for the time. Um, it's definitely not now, and I actually don't remember all the components. Um, actually, I don't think I remember any of the components because. Yeah, I just learned a moment ago that it's got 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, we now have an RX 580, so that's good. Um, I think 
I think I liquid cooled a. Oh gosh. I think it's a 4550. Is it a 4550? Or 4750. It might be a 4750. It's an i5 of some kind, and I don't remember what it is. Exactly my point, and a tenth of the starch. <laughs> yep. It's going to, yeah, without Sony using. Yep. Yeah. The Sony's, Sony's game plan for uh, their whole storage solution was not smart. I mean, it was like SMRT smart. It was, it was not smart. Like at least Xbox, you know, for what they use, I think you had, I think even with what Xbox partitioned off for their console, you still had more storage um, afterwards because they gave you like a terabyte right out of the gate. Oh, I, I hope. Oh, hey, Phantom Star, thank you. Good luck with PC. Hello, hello. It's been quite a long time I'm trying SteamOS. Uh, so maybe I can have like a dedicated gaming computer to capture from. Um, I'm not going to close it all up yet, but I am going to put the uh, I'm going to put the top screws back in just so that it doesn't keep trying to, you know, case in point, pop open. Uh, oh, come on, you bitch. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, if I were to do it all over again, like, I kind of wanted a computer for him that would uh, last in terms of hardware. Like, it'd be easy to get to for components. Um, he could just pop the lid like a car in a way, so it'd be a little easier. But uh, if I were to do it all over again, this would not be the case that I would use. This case is kind of craptastic, like, in almost every way. Uh, so now we're going to trade spaces. This is going to go on the floor. <clears throat> and this is going to come up on the desk at hopefully enough of an angle that you all can see it. Um, we're going to get oh, an HDMI cable that isn't long enough. You son of a bitch. Oh, bar barely, barely long enough, but we made it. We made it. Like how I wasted two perfectly good... I just wasted two perfectly good um, IO shield plates for the PCIe, PCIe covers. I just wasted two perfectly good PCIe covers uh, just so that it would look okay. All right. Oh, man. All right. Got a blue light and something clicked very loud. That's a good sign. Hey, all right, I didn't break it entirely, at least not yet. Uh, <laughs> we still have, we still have all evening to do that. Oh, wow, very busy. <laughs> it would be day about learning more on PCs here. I don't know how much you're gonna learn other than the fact that I suck at computers, but uh, you know. Uh, hello? Hello? Hey! Hey! Look! Oh! Mmm. 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 It is not happy with that GPU, though. Uh. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> let's look at the specs. I don't remember what the specs are on this thing. Uh. Alright, so we have, I know we got 8 gigs of RAM. I don't know how slow this RAM is. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, it's a 4330. It's even worse than I thought. It's not even a 4950. All right, eight gigs of RAM. Oh, it's 1600 megahertz. Okay, that's um, that's fast-ish for uh, for DDR3. Uh, we have a 240 gig SSD. That's cool. Uh, that's good. Um, let's see what the cooling is on this. I'm actually curious to see because. If that if it's a forty three thirty, that's like an extraordinarily low power draw CPU, and I just went and put a fucking liquid cooler on it, which is just dumb. Uh, yeah, that's that's dumb. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Oh, actually, that's kind of warm. Uh, 
30, 30 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Celsius. Hmm. Do I have Cinnabentrum here? Cinna? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, what do I have on here that would allow me to stress the sh shite out of it? Geek 3D? Furmark! Oh, God. Yeah, let's throw some... Let's throw some fur mark at that thing and see how it does. Uh, oh, this, yeah, that's right, it's GPU. Oh, yeah, there we go. CPU burn. Let's do it. Uh, four threads. Go! Burn about 100%. Let's see what the temperature goes to. We're just going to let it cook for a minute while I answer your questions. Try to play a league without a hard drive or a graphics card. How did you... How do you do that? Oh, well, the CPU's only drawing... <laughs> Good lord. Alright, so for reference, like... The, the CPU on this is, like, leagues below something like Apple's M1 processor, which, like, would blow this thing out of the water. Um, but the M1 processor, when you just hit it, will peak at, like, 30 watts. This little processor is drawing 49, well, basically 50 watts. Of, of power from the wall. Um, running at, what are you running at? Let's see. Probably running at a full like three gigahertz or some shit. 2.99 gigahertz, wow. So fast, much speed, impressed I am. Um, but yeah, this thing is like barely, yeah, this thing's liquid cooled, which means that 50 watts, like this liquid cooler is, uh, Oh man, this I, th I think this liquid cooler can like dissipate upwards of like 150 watts of heat, and I'm throwing 50 watts at it, so I have like a like 100 watts of headroom here. All right, so that's good news. Uh, we have a reasonably reasonably performance system. Um, that's a lie. This thing is just slow as balls, but it is at least. At least we know it functions, and that I didn't break anything. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not installing uh, drivers for the graphics card right now, um, actually, you know what? We don't need. Yeah, we won't install graphics card drivers right now. But what we are going to do is we're just going to hit the graphics card with a Furmark run just to see what it does. Uh, League is like Minecraft. You can run it on <laughs> a toaster. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, got it on PC for free. Didn't realize it didn't have. Whoops. Didn't realize it didn't have a hard drive. Uh, got the hard drive. Then tried playing League. But only got one FPS. Ooh, yeah, depending on what kind of uh, CPU you had, you were probably, like, you were probably pushing a full, like, you know, CPU-driven experience. That was it. See if it can handle roller... This can definitely handle Roller Coaster Tycoon. So this was actually my cousin's gaming PC for a while. He used it for, like... Minecraft and a couple things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install SteamOS, and my goal by the end of this is to either have, I'd like to try to play MCC on it. If we can't do MCC, uh, we are gonna try maybe, maybe we'll try like Portal or something like that. Um, I'm just gonna do it turned around facing the screen like this, but let's see how this does at a 1080p Furmark experience. We'll see how this does here. Um, doesn't look like it's going too bad. Um, granted, that GPU is cranking now. Let's see here. Oh, how are you doing, buddy? Well, I mean, it's it hasn't kicked the fans on yet. Actually, that's... Actually, that is... Oh, there they go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the fans kick on at about 60 degrees Celsius. Um... That's actually pretty high. Like most of my NVIDIA stuff, the fans don't kick. Uh, the fans kick at like 50. Uh, this waited until 60 degrees C to actually kick on. That's funny. I was expecting like a little faster. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You, you doing okay? All that, all that like smell now that the CPU fans are running or the CPU fan and the GPU fans are running, all of that like burnt component smell is just pouring out of this thing into my nose. 
Okay, uh, we got a we got seventy six s f seventy six x seventy six fps. Um, the thing topped out at seventy degrees, which it's not going to get any better once we put the side panels on. But we're going to do a four K test just because I want to just watch this thing suffer. Could not switch to full screen mode. Try another resolution. We don't need full screen mode. I want 4K. I want to watch it burn. Oh, what is that? No, I don't need 1024 by 768. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to burn you. No, we don't need 8K. Hello? No, we don't need 4 by 3. I need 16 by 9. Can I get 25, 60 by 14, 40, please? 25, 60. By 1440. Actually, let's do 3840 by 2160. That's full 4K. 2160P. Custom preset. Hey, there's 4K. We're going to cook this bitch. And then, according to the instructions on um, Valve's website, I did everything I needed to for SteamOS. I also haven't hooked this thing up to, uh, I also haven't hooked this thing to the network yet. Um, which is fine because as soon as I booted it up, Windows wanted an update and I'm not going to give it to it, so, you know, that happens. So now we got a few more people in chat. How's everybody doing? I know Jake, you said you're doing, or, uh, no, Phoenix said they're doing okay. Jake just kind of showed up. Phantom showed up, which is awesome. I haven't had, uh, actually I haven't had moderators in the chat in general for a while. Hello? Oh, that's the fan for the CP or the GPU kicking up. Um, okay. You probably can't really see it on stream. Um, there's a line here, and you can just watch the line go like, and stop. Okay, I'm starting life. Yeah, I hear you. I've been trying to find a place to live that isn't here, getting charged out the ass for a place that isn't worth what I'm paying for it. It's great. Oh wow, the, actually that, is this GPU, that, I have two of these and this one cools down better than the one that I use in my VR rig. Is this a better PC? Is this, not a better PC, it's definitely not a better PC. Is this a better graphics card than what my freaking VR PC has been using? I, I would, I'm almost inclined to believe that now. All right. Oh, enough dilly dicking around. Let's uh, shut it down, and we're gonna go boot it into SteamOS for the first time. Thank God. Um, actually, I probably don't want to plug it into front I/O. Mm, let's plug it into a direct USB plug in the back. All right, and I don't remember what the. Oh, that's a... Can you not, like, run your CPU and GPU at 100%, please? I don't remember what the... Yee! I wish Texas Florida out of here. They're cheaper. They're still not that cheap. Hello? No! Stop it. Oh, that's right. I got a whole function or whatever the hell. Hey, there we go. All right. Sand disk. Great. Oh, you. Don't do this to me. Yeah, they're still not cheap. Uh, and for the space I'm looking at, it's actually more expensive. So we'll see. Maybe I had to... S nope. Oh, wait a minute. I'm selecting the... Uh, I'm selecting the boot volume. Whoops. Uh, I need to select Easy Store. No. Is it a SanDisk? What are you? You're a Western Digital of some kind. What the hell? All right, let's boot into Windows and see what this drive is called. Because I don't know anymore. 
At least it boots up quickly. That's actually kind of nice. Um... Yeah, okay, you're called SteamOS, but what are what are you actually called? Hello? Properties. Uh, do you have a standard hardware name? Jesus. What? You are, so you are actually called a SanDisk Cruise Glider, even though you are an easy store from Western Digital. That... That is funny. That's actually really funny. So, wait a minute, let me make sure that's correct. Is that right? That can't be right. That, oh! Okay, it was not happy with whatever I just did. That's fine. All right, well now that we know that it is called, I think it's called a sand disc. That is, that is so funny, because it's called an easy store, but yet it still identifies as Samsung. That is actually really hilarious. Uh, reboot's like the proper boot device. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm probably actually, ow, gonna have to, uh, uh uh, this image is not compatible with Steam Deck. I don't need Steam Deck. Okay, how do I install? There are two different methods of installing. All right, we're gonna do the automated one. Download Steam OS. Unzip the Steam OS file into a blank. Oh, I wonder if I gotta unzip it directly into the... Oh, that's probably what it is. Okay. Okay. I'm... I am much intelligent. All right. Um, also, I, I'm kind of glad I placed this here so I can strategically block my screen. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Okay. So I'm actually going to drag the zip file over. Hmm. Actually, can I just unzip it into the location? Uh, unstuff with expander to... Oh, I can! Hold on. Okay. Stop your shenanigans. Alright, let me see here. I think I can. Sorry, it's going to be kind of boring for me. You're just going to have to look at my wallpaper while I try to figure this out. Because... Stupid... Stupid... Um, Steam OS stuff. It is called a SanDisk Cruiser. Okay, so this, this is what I traditionally associate with a SanDisk Cruiser Glide, uh, because this is just what they look like. It's just a little red and black SanDisk thing. I bought this blue and black thing from Western Digital, and I've never realized that it is just called, that's literally all it's called, it's just a SanDisk Glide. Oh my god, everything's a lie. SanDisk is, like, making their own shit. Alright, uh, UAFI. Make sure... Make it look like UA... Wait, what? Make sure... Okay, make sure you select the UEFI entry. Partition memory PRAM. If there is no UEFI entry, you may need to enable UEFI support in the BIOS setup. Uh, I mean, credit where it's due. Steam is trying to make Linux approachable. But this is... Alright, you know what? We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're going to format this over here on Windows. Because at least then Windows can shut up and do what I ask it to. Um, this is an older... This is an older install of Windows as well, which is hilarious. Alright, uh... uh Format. Uh, yeah, SteamOS. We don't want XFAT. We want. No, 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 no. We don't want either of those. We want. Nope, nope. 
Okay, maybe I had to do this first. No. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, please hold. Um. Nope. EAR. Partition. Create before. There it is. There it is. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've used Windows, like, I'm, like, dragging up things that I haven't used in forever. Uh, Steam OS, you. I want you to be formatted in FAT32. No, I want you to be formatted in FAT32. FAT32, FAT32, you son of a bitch. <sighs> Delete volume. Yes. New simple volume. New simple volume. <sighs> New simple volume. There we go. Next. I want you to be... Oh, I can't make this drive the D. It's gonna be my H drive then. Why do you insist on it being NT event? Alright, you know what? Screw you. We're gonna go back over to Mac OS and make it FAT32 because apparently Windows, the OS that popularized FAT32, doesn't know how to make shit into FAT32. Initialize. I like how it's like, even Windows, or even Mac OS is like, MS-DOS. It's like, yeah, you know, the thing that, the thing that it's meant to run with. Ugh, it's so dumb. Like, people give Apple crap for getting rid of stuff in their systems, but like, really? Microsoft doesn't let you format into FAT32? Like, there are still a lot of things, for better or worse, that use FAT32. Damn, that is dumb. That is really dumb. Uh, unstuff with expander. We're gonna unstuff it into Steam OS. Choose. All right, and we'll let it do its expansion. I'm gonna be very impressed if it was that quick. I don't think it was. Uh, while that does that thing, we're gonna mess with the whatever UEFI stuff that uh, SteamOS was talking about uh, and see what it does here. Oh wow, we got six people in chat now. What's going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? I'm streaming off my iPad because I needed my phone here for some cheat sheets and references. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully the quality isn't too god-awful. Ow. I don't know which one is F9. F9 is system info. Crap, I don't want system info. No, no, no! You bitch. It's F1 or F2, I don't remember which. Oh, whoa, hello. Nope, don't need that. Alrighty, BIOS time! Alright, so it needs me to... Let's see here. Let's unzip the folder. Unzip it to a blank FAT32 format USB stick. Make sure you use the master boot record partition, or MBR for short. Uh, make sure, oh wait a minute, yeah. Plug into the target machine, uh, boot off. Usually something, okay, I know what that is. Uh, make sure you select the UEFI entry. Uh, it may look like UEFI, it's just, uh, there's, you may need to enable UEFI support in your bio, so UEFI support. <sighs> nope. Wait, does this support? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Um. No, no, no. Fast boot. No, no. Uh. No? Okay. 
Part no, part no. Hmm. Oh, it's actually still got the date and time right. Neat. I think the time's a bit off, but whatever. Uh, Windows 8, other OS. Uh, Windows 8, no, other OS. It's fine. Uh, oh. Limit CPU ID maximum. Nope. Hmm. UAFI. OP ROM. Yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, legacy. UAFI. Oh, it was on Legacy only, UEFI first. There we go. Why is it in storage boot? That's really, really dumb, actually. That is, like, super dumb. Uh, this is still unpacking, so we'll let that do its thing. And you're gonna boot the windows. Of course you are. Anywho, so how's everybody doing? I, I keep asking that, but chat's kind of not flowing well. Hopefully this is uh, at least mildly entertaining, watching me bumble about like a moron. Because I am notoriously bad at, uh, I don't want to say I'm notoriously bad at Linux. I just, I hate Windows and I've had not great luck with Mac, uh, with, uh, with Linux. Like Mac OS has been the only, <laughs> Mac OS has been the only operating system that hasn't completely like shat itself while I'm using it, uh, which I find funny. Considering I, uh, oh, what? Oh, no, I don't have my Steam info saved. And I haven't logged into Steam in a hot minute. Well, we'll have to figure that out as we go. I'm letting this unzip. So while that unzips, let's, uh, I'm going to tip the screen a little bit more so I don't have to, oh, I don't have to strain myself to look at it too hard. Um, oh, did I have virtual machines on here? <gasps> I had virtual machines on here. Oh, I had a Vista VM. Please tell me this works. <gasps> Do I have a virtual machine? No way. <gasps> it's got a virtual machine on it. Oh my god. I'm actually like... Oh, I kind of want to... Oh, that's so cool. I kind of want to install this on a different drive now so that I don't lose this. <gasps> it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, man, can I go? Whoa! Ooh. Eee. Oh, that's, that is freaking hilarious. Can I install devices? Optical drive. Uh, wait a minute. Insert guest editions. Can I do that? Okay, well, doesn't want me to right click over there. Can I run this? Please? Allow. Oh God, the pop-ups from Windows. What's up? Welcome, welcome. I'm waiting for um, SteamOS to finish installing itself onto my flash drive. Uh, it's still going. But I discovered that this PC that we're going to install this on had a Vista. Actually, how many? Wait, uh, let me see how many. This has like a bunch of virtual machines, which I am super pumped about. Uh, so we had Vista, which was like hilarious. We've got XP. <gasps> we've got 98. We've got ME. Oh my god, oh my god, whoa, whoa. Oh wow, that took up the whole screen now. 
we immediately, as soon as I couldn't get instant gratification on installing SteamOS, uh, we immediately went off the rails. That's pretty, pretty par for the course, actually, now that I think about it. It's even got the little, uh, the little power widgets. Let's see, what did Task Manager look like back then? Oh my god, it's just straight up XP, XP Task Manager, baby. Look at that. I gave this thing two cores and how much RAM? How much RAM did I give this thing? I'm actually kind of wondering considering I only have eight gigs of RAM. Four gigs. So I split the RAM in half on this thing. Why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so long to install error executing? That bodes well. Could not complete error during installation. Cool. Let's try it again. Because nothing bad could ever happen from trying to install a broken piece of software twice. Like, not at all. Oh, it hit the error spot again. Okay, so it just doesn't want to install... What is that? VirtualBox mouse. You may be... <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. You may be a victim of software counterfeiting. To use all Microsoft Windows features such as updates and micros from Windows updates, uh, get the latest updates and receive product support, your copy of Windows must be validated as genuine. Oh my god, it thinks I stole the software. And there's no way of rectifying that because they don't support it anymore. <laughs> Are you done yet? Jesus, no, you're not. Oh my God. Oh, that's funny. Um, recent, ah, oh, control panel, there we go. Let's try to turn arrow on. Let's get some transparency up in this biatch. Uh, personalize, color and appearance. Standard. Nope. Classic. Nope. Vista basic. Nope. Effects. Clear type. Standard. Nope. Okay. Cool. Nope. All right. That's not giving me anything. Desktop. Oh, you suck. I can't pick transparencies. Themes. Really? Can I not pick anything? It's just that. Oh, that is terrible. I can't even customize the colors. Okay, well, this this got boring and sad very quick. Let's try another one. I'm gonna delete this one. Uh, power off the machine. Just hard shut it down. Screw it. Oh, are you, you're not done? Bro! Ugh. All right, let's try a different one. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna trash can this guy. Bye bye. Delete all files. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at XP. Ugh. I actually don't remember using this as a virtual machine box, but it's really funny that I did. I'm actually super glad that I did. <laughs> oh, look at it. Thanks, Pete. Mm. Just perfection. Oh, look at it. Oh, wait, is this... Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is this is Windows XP... Um, oh, this is the entertainment version, isn't it? The, the media, media edition. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it? Is it, is it, is it? My computer might be a risk. You don't say. Uh... Uh, view system information. Media Center Edition! Oh, I got the bougie XP up in this. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. All right, let's try to install some drivers so I can make the screen bigger, maybe. Uh, don't make it a menu tool. I don't need that. Stopping, what are you stopping? Oh, extracting, executing. It's succeeding in executing everything. 
All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's just reboot it now. Go. <laughs> oh, I don't have the I don't have speakers hooked up. Otherwise, we'd be able to play the like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh man, this has gone from let's install SteamOS to let's just screw around until SteamOS is done being put on a flash drive. This is yeah, that's USB three speeds. What the hell? All right, whatever. Everybody having a good time? I'm actually thoroughly enjoying myself screwing around with these virtual boxes. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like it's it's funny to me. Alright, um can I make the windows variable? Oh god. Classic view, please. Thank you. Uh where is display? Uh, desktop. Nope. Settings. Yes. Can I make it... Can I go larger? Advanced. Uh, 120 DPI? Apply? Oh, there we go. Alright, so we're getting somewhere. Can I make... Okay, I don't care. Stop it. Stop it. God. Windows never changed. Can I go bigger? Okay, can I do... Why? Why am I stuck at 1024 by 768? What? But why? Wait, so can I do... So Media Center Edition only ever had Energy Blue. I'm ready to choose a backup option. Turn off reminder, go away. XP style. Oh, you can change it back to the XP style. Hold on, let's change it back to XP, XP, XP. Interesting. You actually got a little skin with Media Center Edition that you wouldn't have otherwise. That's super neat. And Steam OS is still doing its thing over there. That's not as neat. Yeah, because, so, I used to do this all the time. If you were a cool kid, You'd use the silver, silver edition of Windows XP, where your toolbar and everything, you're like silver, everything's like gray, which in reality actually just makes it look more like the old Windows 2000 and Windows 98. <laughs> but hey, I didn't care, it looked cool. Effects, what effects? Fade effects? What fade effects? Oh, wait a minute, I know what those are, never mind. Show window content while dragging. Oh, yeah, 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 hold on. If you did show, if you turned that off and dragged a window, uh, it's not supposed to do that. Huh. So you used to, so this redraws the window every time you move it. Wait, did I get this thing two gigs of RAM? I gave this thing almost three, uh, yeah, 2.9 gigs of RAM. How many CPU cores did I give this thing? Now I'm, now I'm kind of worried about how stupid I can be with these VMs. Okay, it is just a single core, that's good. Two gigs of RAM. Damn. Anyway, yeah, these used to not redraw windows every time, so you would uh, you would end up with this really ugly look, uh, where it would just be a wireframe that you'd be dragging around. All right, we're gonna shut this down. We're gonna take a look at the other one. Oh, that's the fade effect. Look, the background turns gray. That's the fade effect. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Dude, come on. Want to know why I would do what? Why I would use the silver version? Or what are you talking about? Right, we're going to take a look at SE. How's it going so far? Well, um, SteamOS wouldn't boot, so it's copying over right now the way that they instructed me to, which just means it's taking even longer. But I discovered that I've got virtual machines on this thing. So we're playing around and we played around in Vista and then Vista got stupid so I deleted it. Install Chrome OS on a perfectly good PC. Um, because uh, I don't use this PC for anything, uh, which is why we're doing that. Oh shit, it's got a password. Oh no, it's got a password. I don't know what the password is, oh boy. It doesn't have a... Wait, what? 
Oh my god, what is happening right now? How do I es- Oh sh- how do I escape this? Oh no, oh no, the- Oh god, my mouse is trapped in Windows 98. Oh god. What- Oh, wait a minute, there's a- There's a key to escape that, and I don't remember what it is. Alt? No? Okay. Uh, this- this will have to do. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, I don't use this PC for anything, so... Uh, hold on. Ugh. Did you hear about Futurama it's coming back with the original cast? I heard that that was a thing. I know, um... Uh, I forget his name, the voice actor for Bender was not coming back, and then they, I guess, came to an agreement with him or something, and now he is coming back, so that's cool. Not accessible. This device is not ready. This device is not ready. Okay, well, I guess the device is not ready. Oof! I don't want to... Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay. This is super tiny. Let's see if I can, uh, can I make this screen bigger? Properties. <gasps> Maybe? Settings. Settings. Yes. How far can I go? Is this a functional slider? It is not. Ooh, it's only on 16 colors, too. What do wallpapers look like in 16 colors? Can I get, uh... Can I get something in Windows 98? Go. Hello? What? Oh. Oh, I gotta tell it to tile. Oh, wait. Stretch. Yes. Let's see how ugly I can make this. Black fat. No. Bubble. Uh, wait. Circles? Yes. Apply. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, it's on Hulu. You're right. That's well. It's um. I I'm doing. I'm using Steam OS. It's just taking forever to install onto a flash drive. It did not take this long last time. All right, we're gonna. Uh, I want to minimize, not minimize, but I'm gonna bring that down a peg, and input no device. Uh, insert. There we go. Can I insert this? Ah, what'd you do? File link is missing. That doesn't bode well. Oh, man. How do I get to my computer? Oh, that's right, it's up here in the corner. My computer. Go. Oh, okay, you just suck. All right, well, uh, we're gonna blow you away. Ooh, that fade, though. That fade. Bye. We're gonna delete Windows 98 now. Just what Microsoft should have done years ago. Uh, remove. Remove everything. All right, now we're gonna try Windows ME. The black sheep and god awful version of Windows uh, next to Vista. Oh, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> no, it's 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 SteamOS. It's SteamOS. Because uh, I, I don't use... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait! Hello? Hello? 
Well, that went well. Um, wait a minute. Wait, can you literally... Can you literally... Oh. I think you can actually keep yourself from... From getting into Windows... Okay. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, what? Oh, that's 16 colors right there. Oh, that is... That is a glorious 16 colors right there. Let me see if I can, can I zoom in a bit. Can I... No? All right, cool. Oh, that is... Oh, that's... Horrendous. Oh, it flickers when you move it on the screen. That's rough. That is super rough. Can I run the installer? Of course I can't. Oh. All right, so the only good install on this thing was Windows XP. Vista thought I stole it. Uh, 98, for some reason, didn't want to do anything with this installer and neither does ME. Oh, that's awful. <gasps> All right, well, that's fine, because it uh, looks like SteamOS is now installed where it should be. All right, that was perfect timing, because right as this started being garbage, uh, we got our SteamOS installed. So let's eject it. Oh, okay, you ejected. Okay. So now, um, I guess I don't have to delete this one because it's just going to blow the OS away anyway. Uh, <clears throat> it's shutdown time. Bam. All right. I'm going to get rolling. I imagine what inverted colors look like. <sighs> oh my gosh, that would have been awful. That would have been terrible. Holy crap, that would have been so bad if it was inverted colors. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, let's boot up here and see if it does. Oh, FN, yeah, that's right. Let's see if it does any better now. Wow, apparently some people wanted to see inverted colors because when I said it would be bad, they all dropped out. All right, here we go. Uh, is it this one? It's not that one. Is it this one? Come on, come on. It's, it's not Kingston. I don't know what these ST drives are. Something like that. two windows boot managers. Nope. Don't need to fix it. So it's gotta be one of those two. Let me try plugging it directly into the system again. Seeing if that makes a difference, which I kind of doubt. Hmm. 
the last option on the list? Well, it said preparing. I don't know what it's preparing right now, though. Oh. Screw you. Let's try the last option on the list. That's just the BIOS. Oh, we're going to be here a while. Unless you meant the UEFI SanDisk one in the list. Let's try that one. But I think it's going to give us the same result. Go away. Um. Hmm. All right, so... Why? It's acting like I should just, like, like the the boot up portion is what it's treating as the easy bit in the in the uh, guide here. Like in the guide, it's just like, all right, select it, and uh, once you got it selected, you just do the install. Um, but I can't even get to that part. This is why I hate using Linux. Because simple shit's never simple. Um, hmm. Alright, so give me a second here. I got it. So I'm just going to copy the full version of this onto, I'm going to copy the zip version and then we're just going to make Windows do it, I guess. Boot up into Windows, assuming I haven't broken anything yet. Uh, I'm going to put some headphones in because I want to have some music as I lose my mind. <sighs> so I'm going to put some music on in my ears, not yours, because I don't need to get a copyright flag. And now we're going to try to uh, make it work a different way. Okay. Um, let's format it first. So we're going to format it back to FAT32 again. It wants a master boot record, which is what I'm giving it. That's what doesn't make any sense to me, is it's like, make sure it's an MBR, and I do that, and then it doesn't actually use it. I don't know what it's doing. Um, hmm. Do I have an unzip tool on this? I don't know if I have an unzip tool on this, so that might be a problem too. I also don't have it hooked to the network, but that's, that's a secondary problem. Does Windows give you an unzip tool by default or no? I don't remember. Somebody let me know in the comments. I don't actually remember if... Oh, it's, oh that's going to be so stupid if Windows doesn't do that. Oh, my God. I bet Windows doesn't do that. What's that? Which one is not there with the dongle out? What are you talking about? Which one is not there with the dongle out? Oh, which option? Um, it, the SanDisk one. The SanDisk option's not there whenever I pull the drive out. So we know it's it, we know it's SanDisk. That's the problem is I know it's SanDisk and it's just being a little bitch about it. All right, let's just download a fresh copy of SteamOS here just for sanity's check. Just for sanity's sake. Why are you downloading a beta?
We got this. It's fine. I might need to pour myself some uh, Japanese whiskey before the night's out, but that's fine. Yeah, somebody let me know, though. I actually don't remember. Um, actually, let me just look at zip. Oh, I have a zip file already, so let's see if... Open file location. Oh, thank God it does. Okay, perfect. I was worried for a minute there. I was, I was actually going to have a moment of, like, full anti-Windows ranting for a minute if they didn't include something as basic as a zip folder, or a, a tool unzipper. <sighs> what is this thing on the front? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is this thing hanging off the front? I don't remember what that's for. It's for the keyboard and mouse connection. I'm oh, sorry, I was, I was too privileged to think that this would have Bluetooth. <clears throat> All right, we'll see here in a minute if uh, if my theory is correct. I doubt it, because it's not been that simple at all, period. So what do we got here? Uh, okay, anything else fun? All the, wait, does this have Office on it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's got, uh, wait, start without syncing my data. Confirm and start in browser? What? No. No, get out of here. Get, wait, why did you open the browser? Oh, it's, oh. I hate Microsoft. Windows, Microsoft. I have already bought your operating system. I've paid money for what you call an operating system that the rest of the world seems to think is so great. Stop advertising it to me when I'm using it. All right, anyway. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take you off here and just drop you on the desktop because fuck it. Wow, look at those blazing speeds. 102 megabits per second. Magic! All right, uh... Oh, uh, what are you saying down here? Let's see. Ah, Bluetooth, I remember when Sony added it to the PS3 then removed it in the next two consoles. Right? Well, to be fair, they didn't even really use it in the PS3 because if you wanted to use something like Bluetooth or RF um, with the PS3, you still had to get a dongle for things like the... Um, um, guitar Hero controllers, like you could not have a wired guitar or a wireless Guitar Hero controller without an adapter, which was dumb. All right, you extract all. You're gonna give me a location? Yes. All right, cool. I'm just gonna take your location and drag you there. What? What just happened? What? Whoa. Wait, what? Whoa, no, 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 no. Stop. What? Did I just... I created a... Sh All right, well, I just have to adjust my expectations to the... fucking moon brain developers of Microsoft, I guess. Oh, my God. Just go here. Yes, G Drive, whatever the... The hell you want to call it? Extract. Oh no, we're into the kilobytes per second. All right, well, let me go dump my water out and fill it with something stronger. I'll be over here if you need me. Actually, I lied. I'm getting a cheese stick first because the fridge is here and I'm fat. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, it jumped up. Is 
1.5 megabits per second. Uh, we're not going to do Fireball. I, I hate Fireball. Uh, we're we're going to do something else. It'll be okay. Don't you worry. I'm making some cheese first because I enjoy in, in, <laughs> emblazoning my intestines. What's up, chat? Oh, man. Well, we'll see if this works. This is going to be super boring. Uh, are you all entertained by this? Because I figured it would turn into a shit show. I didn't think it would turn into a shit show this fast. But when you're working with... Uh, when you're working with Windows, well, when you're working with anything other than Mac OS, in my experience, but you know, whatever. I guess things just happen. Ugh. Anybody want to start talking in chat? No? That's fine. At least it spiked up. Oh, no. Million dollars, but you have to use a five year old OS for five years. A five year old, wait, what? Oh. I have to use a five year old OS for a year. Um, yeah, I'd do it. I'd totally do it. Like, here's my question. Is there a limitation on the hardware? So, five-year-old five year OS for a year, is there a limitation on the hardware I can run it on? Because, I mean, technically, if you want to be, if I wanted to be, you know, belligerent, I could say that I could just use Windows 10. <laughs> Is that right? How old is Windows 10? How old is Windows 10? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just use Windows 10. I'll just use an old, I'll just use a version of Windows 10. That's five years old. So there you go. I'm using a five year old OS right now and it's acting like it. It's acting every bit of five years old. <clears throat> Belligerent and dumb. Uh, why? 2015. Man, can you believe it? July 29th, 2015 was when Windows 10 first launched. Like, yeah, it's seven years old, but, like, they could have just done mild improvements to it. Like, they didn't have to go full Windows 11 and, you know, make it god-awful. But they did. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. 18 minutes to do this. Uh, windows never change. How hard is it actually like trying to write this? Like, let me see if it's, is it a limitation of the CPU or the storage medium? Oh, it's 100% a limitation of the storage medium. Look at that. Like the CPU is just like, CPU is just chugging, barely doing anything. And this poor, oh wow, this poor drive is like just cooking. How is that much work required for a, uh, wow. 477 milliseconds, so basically the unzip process, the response time on this drive is half a second. Where's my mouse? There it is. That's wild. That is wild. I don't even know what, what does SteamOS look like? Hmm. Well, it uses Arch Linux. So does that give me street cred if I'm using like, does that give me street cred if I'm using like Arch Linux technically? Uh, 
boy. Because uh, Arch Linux is the one that like every every go to Linux fan boy wants to talk about. It's like, oh, but did you install it on Arch? No, because I don't want to hate myself more than I do. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I, what time is it? 8.22, do I get blasted now or later? Million dollars, but you can only use a Macintosh for six months. Okay. <laughs> you gotta ask harder questions, man. I would use, like, I literally use a Macintosh for everything. Or are you talking, oh, wait a minute. You're talking about a Macintosh. Like 512K. If I can get the 512K model, um, I guess YouTube would just be on pause for six months. Yeah, you can't make videos on a Macintosh. Like, the, Macintosh, uh, the original Macintosh in its day... Even in its day, it was like getting its ass handed to it by Apple IIs. The only benefit to the Macintosh was its, uh, yeah, the only benefit to the Macintosh was the fact that it had a graphical user interface and it was an all-in-one. I don't know, like if I did primarily graphic design, I'd be more inclined because you could get away with it. You just have to wait for it to render. Um, imagine waiting for a photo to render. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would not do that actually if it, if it was an original macintosh no if you're talking like just using a modern mac for six months like pfft, easy because i already do it um yeah man that is terrible that is so bad in terms of speed let's go down to 11 minutes at least there's that all right all right this, this is happening votes in the chat. We have Kraken. We've got Bacardi. I think they're both spiced though. This is just black rum. I don't remember this one. Oh, we're not. You say the higher volume one like I'm going to drink the whole thing. Four proof. This one is. What is this one? I don't know. I mean, I know it's it's the alcohol of my people because it's Puerto Rican. What are you? So you are. Can I get him? I don't know this. A percentage. Oh, okay. So actually, okay, because so technically this one is stronger. This is ninety-four proof. Uh, this is only eighty proof. Um, yeah, I'll pour myself a. Bottle less, or glass of 80 proof. Might actually be conscious, but ain't it? Ugh. Take rum over whiskey anyway. You know? I have, I literally have sake, whiskey, and rum. And I prefer sake and rum over whiskey.
I, I'm not going to drink this this evening, but I got this as well, which I actually really, really enjoy. It's pretty good. It's the only rum, or rum, it's the only whiskey that I can actually tolerate. Um, yeah, so there's that. Oh, I see somebody in chat saying hi. What's up, Rocket Man? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We are currently just waiting for Windows to do its thing. Oh boy. Yeah, we're putting SteamOS, as the title says, we're putting SteamOS on my PC. Um, it's a garbage PC. It's one I built for my cousin. Uh, so SteamOS is like a version of Linux that uh, Valve made into like a gaming OS. Um, and I haven't played with it. Um, so instead of making a virtual machine, we're just going to install it straight on a straight onto a bare metal. Uh, the problem is, is that installing it to bare metal has proved to be quite a challenge, which is why I've already poured myself a fairly generous glass of rum. It's good. It's good rum. Bacardi. I can I can drink Bacardi for days. I'm just like kind of hoping this thing does not require me to hook this up to the network before installing SteamOS because I do not need to deal with all the Windows bullshit. <clears throat> but yeah, SteamOS is Steam's own version, like Steam's own skin on Linux, I think. Let me see here. Let's, let's uh, in the most entertaining way possible, let's read over what uh, SteamOS is. SteamOS is designed primarily for playing video games away from a PC such as from the couch in one's living room uh, by providing a console-like experience using generic PC hardware that can connect directly to a television. Oh, shit. Uh, so this might not be an OS. Well, this might not be a mouse and keyboard navigatable OS. That'll be fun. Um, it can run games natively that have been developed for Linux and purchased for from Steam. Oh God, okay, so it's gotta be a Linux-based game. Uh, users are also able to stream games from their Windows, Mac, or Linux computer to one running SteamOS. And it's, and it's incorpor and it incorporates the same family sharing restriction. Okay, whatever. Uh, Valve claims that it has achieved significant performance increases in graphics processing through SteamOS. Uh, the operating system is open source, allowing users to build on or adapt the source code through the actual Steam client, oh, though the actual Steam client is closed. Ugh. Since SteamOS is solely for playing without a mouse and keyboard, it does not have a built-in function, it does not have built-in functions beyond web browser and web browsing and playing games. For example, there is no file manager. Oh no. This is not gonna go well for me. Did I bust my arm up yesterday? I did, I busted my arm up some fierce yesterday. How? Million, do million dollars, but you can only use a CRT TV for a year. <sighs> um, I mean, aside from having to adapt all my HD stuff to CRT, I use a CRT for my retro games. Like I, my, my TV stand is a CRT from the 90s. Um, so yes. So, so far, I believe I, I've... Oh, wait a minute. I missed your other million dollars, but... Wait a minute. I missed that. Million dollars, but... Uh, all your media... Million dollars, but all your media can be stored on floppy disks for a year. Oh, I'd pass on that one. I would highly pass on that one. Only because I have 3.98 terabytes left on a 14 terabyte drive, which is where I keep all of my MKV files. Um... All my Blu-ray rips are on a 14 terabyte drive, and that 14 terabyte drive is almost full. Um, well, I say it's almost full. It's still got three terabytes, but still, like, no, no more. All right. Oh wow! So this actually did support Nvidia. I was worried that it wouldn't support Nvidia, um, just because the the Linux support of NVIDIA is kind of garbage. And when I say kind of garbage, I mean that it is absolutely dog shit. 
Um, yeah. Like, the only place to really get full advantage of an NVIDIA graphics card is over on Windows. Uh, they don't want to work with Macs anymore. Um, and Linux is kind of in the same boat because NVIDIA is to the Windows space what Apple is to the computer space, uh, which is a bunch of stuck-up guys who want to make great products and have full control over it. Uh, all right, let's see what it's based on here. It includes Proton Windows compatibility layer. Oh, so we might actually be able to play something other than other than Linux built games. Uh, interesting. Using three game benchmarks, so that's 47. Okay. I'm running. Huh. Interesting. So this actually, I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta get it installed, which, you know, that's the part that makes me wanna throw this PC across the room into a wall, but then I wouldn't get my security deposit back, so there's that. Uh. Oh, so there was a version of SteamOS slated for 2021's release, which was version 3.0 based on based on Debian 9, uh, and that was canceled, I guess in favor of version three on Arch? Is that is that right? Is that right? I don't know what's happening. Um, so does SteamOS version three, I don't know. What version am I even downloading now? I don't know. <laughs> this is great. Oh, wait a minute. It should be listed here. It's not. That's cool. Uh, uh, what is it? Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, it is available right now. And it's based on, is it based on eight, Debian eight, or is it based on Arch? I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. We're gonna find out because why not? Uh, Hollow ISO is Steam Deck three, is Steam OS three without the Steam Deck. Uh, okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, any news on SteamOS 3.0? Uh, maybe? It says meltdown within minutes of its release. Oh, this was five months ago. All right, cool, so we don't know what version. <laughs> ah, we don't know what version we're on right now. I just gotta download a thing. So this is why I can't be trusted with Windows, because I download a thing and then it breaks. Uh, million dollars, but your bandwidth is 56 kilobits per second for a year. Nope, pass, hard pass on that one. I wouldn't touch that. I need internet speed. With the number of things that I run here, I would not, I would shoot myself. Sorry, unalive myself. Yeah, I'm on YouTube, I forgot. Let's see if I can actually get this to see if I can actually get this to work now. All right, you're on the flash drive. Let's get this going. Bitch, try me. I just told it to shut down my restart, didn't I? Yeah. Let's see if this works. Come on. 
Okay. Okay. You. Yes! 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 All right. Uh. Okay, we got two options here. What should I do? Um. Language, location, keyboard layout. Uh, you have the option to change the default disk partition. Other installation is unattended. Okay, we're going to do expert mode. All right. Uh, million dollars, but all your monitors are set to inverted color for a year. Again, no. If you're going to be messing with my workflow for a million dollars, it's not worth it. Because then I'm never actually going to get anywhere with my work. Expert. Oh, I didn't see what version we said. It said we were on. Oh, my God. This is a very Linux install. American English. Okay. <laughs> really? The expert mode just gives us the language options? Is that it? Really? I feel like there should be more. Oh, shoot. Move the network. Uh, I don't think he's going to be happy with me because I didn't hook up the network. <laughs> oh, Ethernet. Okay. Ugh, let's see. Finish partitioning and write change disks. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh... You've selected an entire device to partition. If you proceed with creates a new partition on this table, all current data will be removed. Yes. Okay, you. Create new partition. Ooh, it's got a mouse that works, kind of. Name. Uh, can I name it? Oh. OS. Ah! Ah! Drive. You tell me turn on your team. It's in a different language. Oh, man. I mean, I guess I could use a nice language in, in being bilingual, so sure. All right, can we... Okay, done setting up partition, right? Mounting point, dash... Any options default reserve block okay label none typically user standard boot flag zero done okay okay so you're mounted up as f all right finish partitioning and writing changes no if i partition was found go back to the menu zoom partition yes oh do i have to create a uafi partition what uh okay. I don't know what it's doing now. Maybe I shouldn't have done expert mode. <laughs> I just did hard mode now, oh my god. Why do I get a distinct, a very distinct feeling that it's just formatting everything and potentially failing? Uh, for a year every day? Oh god, my shoes are too small or too big. Slightly. Uh, yeah, I would do that. I would just invest in a bunch of band-aids so that I could, you know, put them on the blisters that would inevitably come from my shoes being, like, too loose and sliding around. Oh, uh, boy.
Oh, it's already installing. What? That... Oh, base system. Okay, I don't know what the difference is between installing base system and, like, the OS is, because Linux... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh. It's getting late in the evening. It's not even late. It's 8.42. God, what am I? How old am I? Alright, so it's installing AMD stuff now, which probably isn't necessary. Python, I recognize that. That's a code name. That's that's the name of a, of a code process, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't know what it is. I don't remember. Broadcom, so probably networking equipment. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of curious to see what SteamOS is all about now. Mm. Uh, sorry, I got the I got an angle to kind of hard here just because I need to. I want to actually be, make sure I can see what I'm working with. Uh, boy, slightly rearranged. Oh, that would. Oh man, million dollars, but every time you wake up. Your house is slightly rearranged for a year. Right now, that probably wouldn't bother me because I'm looking to move. Uh, so everything's going to be rearranged anyway. But, like, once I'm kind of into my, you know, apartment or house or whatever, if stuff gets moved, I lose my mind. Who is texting me? Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're in. Uh, okay, so it's Debian based, so we're probably on version two. Standard system utilities, GNOME. Sure, we'll, we'll select GNOME. I don't know what that did. Uh, all right. This is actually going way faster than like any Windows install I've ever done. This is like up there with Mac OS install speed territory. Actually, this is probably faster than Mac OS speeds for installs at least. I was just saying something because Mac OS is pretty fast with installs. Hmm. actually really fast. I'm kind of impressed actually. Alright. I don't know if installing or telling it to install GNOME made it go longer than it needed to, but uh, we'll find out here in a minute. Just trying to see if the fans were spinning on the GPU. They were not. NVIDIA kernel. Huh, so it does actually know what NVIDIA cards are and actually has some usefulness to it. My question is though, if it's got an emulation layer for Windows games, how good is that emulation? Like, do how much of a hit do we see? Because this can't take much of a hit. Uh, I would love to try to play, like, I'd love to try to play Halo on it. I don't know if that's going to happen. should probably actually get a real mouse. I just thought about that. I'll probably need a, a proper mouse for the install, otherwise it's going to be a horrible experience. Actually, no, I have a controller. We're going to do the controller thing. We're going to play with a controller. I just need to find a micro USB cable somewhere. Shut up, cat. Got one. I got another thing, too. Ow! Maybe not. It's okay. It's okay. She's not having any of it. Oh, and I just bumped the camera. Ta-da. And down she goes. She's not having any of that. She scratched me. All right. Uh, 
Okay, million dollars, but I see another one. Million dollars, but you can only watch one anime slash show or movie for a year. And what would it be? I would take it, and I would just use it in a, as an excuse to finally start watching One Piece. I'm just going to say that. I'll use it as an excuse to start watching One Piece if I had to only watch one show for a year. Don't go to sleep. I need you still. Grub Boot Installer. What the hell is that? SteamOS, GNU Linux. It's Debian. Debian 8. Okay, so are we on? I don't know what version of SteamOS we're on. Whoa! Alright, cool, we're here. Oh. Updating system, updates, system software updates available. Oh god. Welcome to the fun part of a new OS, everybody. Can I... Okay, do I not get a terminal? I guess not. Um... I don't have activity monitor. Uh, oh, system monitor, that's what it's called. Resources, there we go. Oh, this is just straight up like Debian Linux. Uh, million dollars, but you can only wear one shirt for a year? Nope, nope. I don't even wear the same socks for a day. I wouldn't do one shirt for a day year. <laughs> That's so gross. Ugh. No, no, no. <sighs> SteamOS installation configuring kernel module. Huh. This is definitely different. Do I have... I do have a file browser. They lied to me. Look at that. I got a file browser. All right, so let's see what I have here. I have a terabyte of sto What? I didn't give you a password to use. What? I hate that. I hate that. I don't like reboots that are like that hard. Is happening. Okay, so this is my bootloader now. Preparing to. Okay. Now we just have to wait for it to find drivers, I guess? I don't know. Million dollars, but you can only wear knee high boots for six months. I mean, in, for a million bucks, I'd take six months of, of knee high boots. I just explain myself. Unless I can't explain myself, in which case I just own it. I'm weird already. So, you know, you're saying this like I'm I don't embrace being an odd person who craves attention. So why do you think I made a YouTube channel? <laughs> Look at me, give me attention while I drink alcohol and install garbage operating systems. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I mean, there's activity. The hard drive light is going, which I hate computers with hard drive lights. Huh. Well, maybe we'll play a game on this at some point. I don't know. I kind of doubt it.
Cool. Good to know. This is actually like not going the way that I was hoping it would. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I expected. It's me trying to install anything Linux based. Oh, damn. My freaking my freaking shorts video is popping off letting people know I'm streaming. It's sad that there aren't many people showing up to the stream. 327 views. That's funny. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, we're done. Perfect timing. Let's see if it did it. Let's see if it did it. I don't know what I would have done. Did it reboot? Oh, no. Of course, it's not fully done yet. I don't like Linux. I don't like Linux. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. You can only speak ye old English for a year, but you get a million dollars. I don't even know ye old English. So I have to learn it first before I could even do it. And even then, people, you know, would not understand me. So probably not. Oh, don't freeze. Update complete launching Steam. Uh, the fact that there's no movement on the screen is very worrying to me. <sighs> no. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, whoa! Okay, hold on. I might, I might have... Oh, I don't have a controller. Well, I don't have a Steam controller. Okay. Really? So this is just a straight up gaming OS now. We'll do Eastern Time, even though it should already know that. Eastern, no, not Eastern European. Where's EST? Why am I missing? Am I just like blowing past Eastern time like an idiot? Hello? Eastern Standard Time, which you picked. Oh, oh, Eastern Standard. Oh, no, God, why? I just had it. Eastern Standard Time, there it is. U UTC 5. All right, cool. The other one here chatting. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, you know. When more people join in, it's fine. Run Steam now. Oh, that's a good sign. Totally freeze. Total freeze, ladies and gentlemen. Ay, ay, ay. Considering it initially required a controller, um, my hopes are not high for interaction with this operating system. That is a cool boot up screen though. Okay, please hold. Actually, yeah.
Okay, so it wasn't that. Um, shoot! every freaking time. This is what happens when you log in once, click remember me, and then never bother again. Oops. Hey, hey. Validation code, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, tell you to quit. Alright. Should have got the validation code, which I did. A yes, this monitor does have a VGA port on it. It's so normally this is my normally this is my viewing screen for my camera when I'm recording. Oh, whoa, this is very... Okay, so this is Steam... So this is SteamOS. Interesting. What can, what can I install? Huh. I wish I could s install a surprising number of games. Is the master... It is... Oh, wait a minute. Not on SteamOS. Damn! Halo Infinite's on SteamOS, what the fuck? Alright, whatever. Uh, can I filter the games? Yes, I can. Oh, hello. SteamOS games. There we go. I can play Chivalry. <laughs> That's cool. Um... Hmm. Let's, play, let's, uh, let's install a portal. Does this give me an option on where I want to locate this? I guess it doesn't. It just goes. Uh, okay. Oh no. Can I actually choose where it goes? I, oh no, no, it's just going to install it on the SSD, shh, ha, <laughs> crap. System. Oh no. 
Oh, it is only Steam OS version 2. Huh. Yeah, this graphics, this thing is going to be just CPU limit city disk management. There we go. Mmm. This is not what I was expecting, actually. Interface. Yes. I don't know what that did to the interface. So I can access... Can I access Steam? Or not Steam. Resolution, there we go. Oh, it's maxed out. Oh, that was the resolution picker. That's weird. Enable access to Linux desktop. That'd be nice. Can I get to it? Can I get to the Linux desktop, please? Evidently not. Oh. Alright, we'll just wait for this to install and play some Portal. I might call it an evening after that. Ugh. So this is literally just, like, I basically made a gaming console with worse hardware than my current gaming console. Can I get to... Mm. Oh, you... You just suck. How do I get to the... How do I get to the Linux desktop? Let me get to the Linux desktop. How do I do that? Oh my god. Hey, switch to desktop mode. There we go. What is... What is, a, what is Valve's vision of a desktop? If they can run Minecraft, it should be fine. That's true. Not the biggest fan of this black screen. Welcome, Dark Lord. Uh, you showed up right as we were sort of about to get into something. Uh, but I also kind of... Oh, there we go. Okay. What? You're just not going to give me desktop mode like that? That's a dick move. Uh, library. Okay, installed. I don't like this interface. Like, it's great for controller, but, like, I don't like this interface. Give me the desktop! No? It doesn't want to give me the desktop mode. Right? I, yeah, I, it does not want to give me... Fine. Fine. We'll play Portal while, uh... Oh wow, you can actually get uh, Witcher, uh, Witcher 2. Uh, Alright, let's go back to games. Filter it down. Filter it down. SteamOS games. Shadows of Mordor, that's kind of impressive. Okay. Um, uh, there's really not a lot on here for me to be able to play. Um, uh, let me see here. Can I just see what works in general? Let's see. Controller configured, not on SteamOS. Great. 
So I've officially installed an operating system that is less capable than my previous one. Good to know. What mod I used. I don't remember the name of the mod I used. I just know I, it was a paid mod that I got that was like, I supported this guy on Patreon uh, and got a version of his mod. Um, P, P, P something, it starts with a P. If you look up Ray Trace mods for Java, he's like one of the top ones to come up. Yeah, I, I wanted to support this guy because I saw that he was actually like working on ray tracing within his, uh, within Java. So I was like, I gotta support this guy. I don't, I don't know what, uh, fine, we'll just play Portal. <sighs> Get your head out of the computer, cat. Cat sticks her fan straight into the, sticks her nose straight into the fan. Process gonna take a while. We need to take a while. It's done. All right. That gave me nightmares as a kid. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we'll just play the opening. Let's just play the opening see how it performs. It's probably going to perform fine. I don't see why I wouldn't. Like, the, the GPU is more than capable, and this was a game that was, like, pretty common and pretty well, uh, well optimized for at the time that this processor was brand new. So I don't see why I wouldn't load properly. I mean, to be fair, this game now plays on the Switch. So, playing on this shouldn't be an issue. Is it really sad that, like, this is kind of becoming a gaming stream just because... What's that? Did you decide how you're going to upload? Yeah, I'm just going to upload them right on, uh, right on this channel. I've got a few in the, uh, in the works. Look at the art. Play the music. I can't hear anything, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I can turn subtitles on. Close captions. No. Oh. Where are my video options? High. High on everything. Oh wait, we're gonna crank MSAA because we can. For 1080p, it shouldn't be a problem. All right. What is it doing, speaker configuration? No, we're doing two speakers. What are you, what are you high? No, we'll do headphones. Actually, no, we'll do speakers. Uh, sound quality high, puzzle maker sounds, captions, closed captions. Subtitles only, current game language. There we go, that should have it. Can I get? There we go. Hey. Music, I'm not doing Arabian Nights. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not that good. Now, please return to your bed. All right. Started to turn on the music cover of YouTube. By that I mean Caleb. <laughs> that was funny. Hello. Yeah, this place fine. Um, actually, we're gonna hop back into exit the game real quick. While this goes, I'm gonna install something else while it goes. We're gonna, um, mm. 
What's a difficult game to play that actually works on this? Really? Like, Skyrim doesn't work? That's... This kind of sucks. Well, I don't want to stream this game, thank you. I'm not going to download Halo Infinite because that's probably, what, like a couple hundred gigs? Or what? I don't know how big this is, but I'm really not up for that, so we're not going to do Halo Infinite. We'll do Half-Life 2, why not? De Half-Life, De Left 4 Dead 2. Alright. Now let's get back into Portal. Alright, anyway. Mm. I, I was going to do Age of Empires, but I don't think we really, like, I don't want to be on here too much longer, so I really don't want to spend the time to uh, <laughs> to get it all downloaded and all that fun stuff, so it's going to take a long time to do that. So we're going to skip Age of Empires for now. Maybe I'll do a live stream of Age of Empires, we'll see. Or possible covers. Huh, I'll give that a look. I've been working on one of the songs that I'm actually trying to do, which is kind of funny because it's one of those like, oh yeah, this is something I can sing. It's within my range. Is uh, hold on, let me see if I can find it here. It is uh, "Fever Night" by the VTuber uh, Takanashi Kiara. I'm like, this is a fun '80s sounding song. Yo, what's going on, Shaq? We're uh, well, we've finally got SteamOS installed. Um, I'm goofing around with uh, Portal Two just to see how it goes. And I don't think I'm in the right space right now. Oh, I started. I didn't save it, so I'm just starting out. I don't know what map I'm on now. Oh well. Oh shit! It just crashed. Did it crash? It just crashed. <laughs> oh Valve. Oh Valve. All right. But hear me out, an OS. I've been doing good, man. I've been doing good. I've been apartment shopping, and hopefully I found a place that's like an actual house. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, it sucks I couldn't come out to Sack Anime. I know uh, you were saying things didn't quite work out for you either, but, man, I wanted to go to Sack Anime so bad. I missed it. All because I had to apartment shop, and then the place I was going to go fell through anyway. So that was I felt like I wasted my time on that one. But otherwise, I've been good. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just restart courtesy call. I know, I was watching some of the coverage and I was just like, damn it. Kind of sucked. I was really hoping to really get, get out there, but, uh, now there's always, there's always later in the year when I've actually got like a place and I'm not stressing over having a place to live. <clears throat> so, my God, why did my like I put a I put the stories up for my video to say like, hey, I'm streaming, and uh, wow, this is actually like this does work really, it's really smooth. Uh, can I? Oh, oh, wait, that's solid. That is solid. Look up and uh, look. Oh, all right, there we go. Look down. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ugh. What's that? Did you hear about the age restriction targeting things going on on YouTube? Yeah. I want to go to the one, the next one. I'm saving now. <laughs> doing OT work. If, tell me about it. I am in the same boat, man. Uh... Corey Kenshin made a video on it, followed by Jacksepticeye. Uh, didn't uh, Markiplier do it? Yeah, followed up by Markiplier, addressing it in a different way. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Honestly, anytime people kick up YouTube drama about, like, copyright and restrictions and all that stuff, I just... It doesn't surprise me, considering that, like, people are like, YouTube used to be fair, and I'm like, fucking when was the YouTube fair? I'm trying to juggle that in an indie music career is nuts, but hey... Signed up for this. Dude, I am I am right there with you, Shaq. I get it. I freaking get it. Granted, I'm doing tech work, but 
content creation row, any, any content creation, and I'm still doing vocal covers and drum covers eventually again. I need to do drum covers again. All right. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on. Let's, I want to see how the physics engine in this handles, considering this game is like... Okay, the fans are on on the GPU. I was wondering if they were or not. All right. Hey, physics are moving. Physics are going. Game event hosted by YouTube was removed without him knowing. I saw that too, yeah. He posted the whole thing on his channel, which is cool. Say Apple. You might have a mild case of very serious brain damage. Don't panic. Well, I mean, if you do panic, that's good. That's a good response for being told that you have very serious brain damage. Uh... I don't know. Like, YouTube is just, like, kind of dumb right now. I say as I'm on it, but, like, YouTube just does what it wants and really, like, P the big YouTubers are speaking out, which I'm glad about, but, like, us little guys have always just gotten the, you know, raw end of it every time. So let's see how the physics look on this. I mean, I'm not seeing stuttering. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot how hard it is to stay in one place. Granted, I don't know why I'm like, wow, look at Portal 2 play. Like, hold on. While this plays. Like, Like, I went and downloaded SteamOS on this, like, whole gaming PC with, like, yeah, an old processor, but, like, I put an RX 580 in this bitch, and, like, I can play it on this if I wanted to. You know? Like, it's it's not a surprising thing. Like, I, I can play Portal 2 on a Switch Lite. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, I got thrown towards the front. Oh, yeah. If anybody asks, and nobody will, but if anybody asks... Tell them the last time you saw any of your test subjects, they looked pretty much alive. Okay? Right. Not dead. Alive, not dead. Oh, I love Wheatley. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Oh, man. So good. All right, here we go. Doing an override. Couldn't get technical. Please hold on. Wait. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but well, you'll figure it out. Really do hold on this time. Yeah, physics engine. Rock solid. It's almost like it was made for this or something. Watch the glass. Boom. Yep. All right, cool. Well, we know that works. Neat. Yep, new game slot. All right. That's, uh... Yeah, it works. What do you know? It works. <laughs> Make life rue the day it gave Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down. With the lemons! <laughs> Not this fucking game. All right. Uh, hey, I still got Ruby Grim Eclipse. I forgot I had that. Damn. Uh, could be a Twitch streamer straight up streamed. Could be Twitch. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I only got a seven day ban. Another got a perma ban. Yep, I know. Twitch. Every every company is like every company is just like twisted and fucked in their own way. But you know, it is what it is, man. I have so many games that are just not gonna work on this. This is like a total waste of an install, in my opinion. Like, oh, cool, I can play Undertale. Like, the games that I can play have been ported to, like, consoles I'd much more rather play them on, like, the Switch. Like, if I'm playing Steam, it's because it's, it's like, oh, I'm gonna play this game that, you know, is a PC game. Maybe I'm being too harsh on this and I'm expecting too much. Where's Left 4 Dead? Ah! What are you doing? Alright, there we go. It's still downloading. God damn it. Why does it take so long to download eight gigs? What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I'm gonna move the cursor.
cursor now. I'm gonna click on you. Yeah. All right. We'll just let this download for the moment, I suppose. Oh man. Can somebody explain to me why the hell VTubers have such good music? Just wanted to ask for a friend. Anyway. It's good to know my internet speed isn't totally, you know, wrecking, or, well, me streaming isn't wrecking the uh, internet speed. That's good. I need a coaster. I just realized I've been putting this on my desk and I hate when I leave marks on my desk. This alcoholic beverage brought to you by Metroid. Alright. I have played Back for Blood and I... I don't feel like it has as much polish as Left 4 Dead. It's just me, but like, yeah. I'd be surprised if the whole rant was improvised by J.K. Simmons. I can see that. Grim Eclipse, is Grim Eclipse worth playing, worth playing after the first couple hours? I don't know, because I literally played it when it launched, and I got to like... I don't know, I cleared the first two areas and was like, neat, and just moved on with my life. Um, let me see here. But yeah, I played Back, I played, uh, I played Back for Blood, but I don't feel like it has the same polish that Left 4 Dead did. Because, um, you know, they're all Turtle Rocks, all like, from the people who helped, or from the people who created Left 4 Dead or whatever, but it's like, it's super clear that like, however Valve, like whatever Valve put in on their, on their end for Left 4 Dead, they definitely added the polish. Yeah. Uh, who hasn't made a game before? Yes. That's fair. Yeah, I guess that's true. It was made by Rooster Teeth, who hadn't made a game up to that point. I'm waiting for... I want Left 4 Dead to come to the Switch. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that'd be cool. Have it come to the Switch. I got Resident Evil 4 for the Switch, and I was horrendously let down because it's just, like, the most half-assed port of the game I've ever played. Like, the glitches for the PS4 are still there. Like, there's so many things that it's like, oh, these little things that we could have fixed, we didn't. You know, get, get bent. So that was cool. Combat of two and three felt too simplified. It needs to be more complex. That is totally fair. Uh, two and three were definitely like, a, I would say they could use a tad bit more difficulty, but nothing like, nothing crazy, because I think they just need a bit more refinement on the actual controls, not, not just crank the difficulty. Yeah, I guess if they added more to play with, that would work as well. But, like, eh, I don't know. I feel like if they turned it up a little bit, it wouldn't be too bad. They have Cult of the Lamb on the Switch. Oh, my God. What? No way. They do. They have Cult of the Lamb on the Switch. Have you guys played Cult of the Lamb? It is... It's disturbing and hilarious. Oh, my God. What? Oh, I didn't know they had it on the Switch. Oh, I'm going to have to buy this. 
When was the last time you played Back for Blood? It's better now. No, no, no. So I'm not talking about glitches. I'm not talking about glitches. I'm talking about the little touches. Like, the flashlights suck. Like, the lighting effects are not the same. They're, they're in, a, in a couple ways, I feel like they're worse than Left 4 Dead was. Or, like, the interactions that the zombies have with each other and the environment is just not as good. Like, you shoot a zombie in Left 4 Dead... He stumbles, he falls, he'll get up again, he'll keep running. Um, there's, like, different animations for everything. The falls that these zombies take when they die are all unique. And it's like, they just kind of relied on the same four pre-baked animations for shooting an enemy in Back for Blood, and then they just go ragdoll. Um, like, that was my problem. Uh, to, to answer, the last time I played it uh, was probably... Eight, eight or nine months ago, a buddy of mine had it. it. Was like, dude, you gotta try this. I'm like, I have played it. He's like, I played it a while ago. He's like, oh yeah, well it was bad at the start, and I was like, all right, let's take a look. And uh, still not better. At least like the glitches are better, but the the actual functionality, like what I was what I was complaining about with the small details, weren't there. All right, uh, we'll do single player campaign. We'll do yeah, let's do dead center. I want to be Nick. Normal difficulty. Actually, let's do... Mm, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do um, single player dead. Uh, mm, dead carnival. Fairground. No. Yeah, we'll just do the hotel. And we'll say it random. Why not start? No, no stop going to sleep. I need you. Alright. We'll play a bit of this. We'll get to the point where there's fire. Just to see how the console... I just called my PC a console. Just to see how SteamOS's drivers handle the fire. And then we'll move on. We'll call it a night after this. Because now I gotta go download, I gotta go buy Call to the Lamb again on the Switch so I can play it on Portable. Because that game is so sick and twisted and I love it. Let's see how bad I can be. Oh, good start. What? Are you serious? Did it did it specify that it had no All right, cool. No, oh, that is very twitchy though. No, I don't want doubles. No, nope, I'll take the X. Oh, okay, okay. No, nope, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do the X, fuck it. All right, let's go. I'm playing this, like, all off angle, and... Oh, the sensitivity is cranked on this. I don't like it. Can I lower the sensitivity, for the love of God? Yeah, it's a joystick. Can I get additional settings for the sensitivity, please? Thank you. Linear. Yeah, that's fine. Can I get sensitive? No, linear, aggressive, relaxed. Wide, extra wide. We'll do relaxed. That's a. Ugh. Oh God, the problem is the boosting that it does. Oh, God damn. Ugh. Can I get anything? Yeah, so like the, the shadows, the lighting, the, all that. This is so much better than what it was in Back for Blood when I played that. 
right. Oh, hi. I'm just cutting heads off. I love it. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What? Oh, bow wow. What just happened? Oh, a boomer. All right. Head gone. Chainsaw. Hell yes! Wait, what is this one? All right, you know, uh, let's do a chainsaw. Yes. All right, I'm gonna just. Oh, I cut the door down. Whoops. Get out of here. I'm just gonna run ahead. Cut them down. Cut them down. Cut them down. Just keep walking. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, this is handling this just fine. Uh, what I'm curious about is when I get downstairs where the fire kicks in. See, like this fire. All right. Oh, well, there's some fire. Oh, shit, it's a boomer. <laughs> Things I said when working at Best Buy. Oh, shit, it's a boomer. Can, did somebody kill a boomer already? All right. Oh, hello, everybody. Yeah, just like the way the enemies drop in this is way more polished, in my opinion, than what we had before. Oh, hello. Oh, thanks. Thanks, bud. Oh, thanks, bud. You guys are saving my ass while I'm, like, half paying attention. Jesus Christ, you guys need to chill. Oops. Got him. Ow. All right, we're just like, all right, I'll, I can I can work with this. <laughs> all right, get out of here. All right, can I get to the fire? I'm listening to it. Like, I know y'all can't hear it, and I can't play it because copyright and content match and all that. But like, the music that just came on in my headset that I was listening to, like while we were doing the install. Like while we were doing the install, I put some music on just so that I wasn't like bored out of my bored out of my gourd doing it. But um, the most cutesy anime shit just came on in my ears while I'm sitting here uh, while I'm sitting here blowing brains out of these zombies. Yeah, like look at the look at the so like these these death animations just aren't a thing with uh, Al. Like these these death steps, like the way they're stumbling back, just isn't a thing in. Uh, in uh, Back for Blood, which bummed me out. All right. Uh, hello? Oh, that's the one. There we go. Look at all of them drop. What is it? Boomer bio. More of it. All right. All right. Well, I have a pistol and that's it, so that's cool. All right. I'm done listening to this QT anime shit. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to be breaking Benjamin on in my head while I do this. All right. Anyway, uh, adding spears and core blades. Mm. I don't think I encounter a witch on this one. I don't remember this, if this mission has a witch or not. But it's playing fine. I just want to get downstairs to where the fire is so that I can see how it does, and then we're going to call it a night. Because now that i got to go play Cult of the Lamb with the Switch. <laughs> Make my cult. Make my cult! So i got the smoke effects going pretty hard. The fans aren't even spinning on the GPU. Are you kidding me? Oh, sweet, there we go. Sweet baby Jesus, let's do it. Oh, hello. Hey, can you guys, like, not stand in front of me while I unload my fully auto Uzi on these idiots? Oh, and I shot a teammate. There we go. Yeah, like, look at this one. Oh, hello! 
just got my ass kicked by a charger. That wasn't cool. Oh, and I just shot my own guy. That's cool. All right. Well, fire is going everywhere. Granted, this is like source engine fire, so, you know, it's not a big deal. Wait, what? Second pistol? Where, did, where, where was that? I can't see anything because I'm at such a horrid angle. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, anyway. I'm done ranting about the how. Is this a shotgun? Yes, it is. All right, we've got our tool for destruction for the day. Get out, of, get out of here. Really? Alright. I can't see squat. There's the flashlight. Ugh. Alright. Um. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. to where I'm not going to be dealing with all this. Oh, I'm lost because I can't see the screen! The viewing angles on this monitor suck, by the way, so, like, the angle I have it at is, like, good enough for you guys to see it, and that's about it. Oh, boy. Oh, and there's a jockey. God damn it. Oh, fun fact. So you see how these guys are like falling to their death out here? Check this out. This is gold. So if I throw this boomer bile here, watch this. Boomer, oh, boomer bile goes here. Now watch this. Let's see if they do it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh. Are they not gonna do it? Oh, they're supposed to jump out of the top. What? Come on. Let me pick that up. Let's see if we can do that this time. Come on. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on. Boomer Bile. Do it. Jump. Come on. Oh, they're supposed to jump out of the top. That sucks. Can I get them to do it with this? Let's see if I can get them to do it with the pipe bomb. Nobody's falling from the ceiling. Seriously? Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Normally they jump from the heights and die. All right, let me unlock my PC and see what's going on here. And boom, safe room cleared. Yeah, oh, hello. Are you serious? That, that sucks. Seriously? I just got into the safe room, and it's like, oh, that, yep, sorry, you're dead. Or not dead, but like, hey, sorry, the game crashed. Are you freaking kidding me? That's some bullshit. That's actually really frustrating. Huh. King Arthur wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, man. What is it? Fun fact, uh, the symbol for the Black Knight is a boar. Yeah. I know, it's important because they will literally, like, ignore fatal wounds. Yup. Alrighty, well. Uh, so I guess, yeah, the... <laughs> I can't believe the game literally crashed out, like, instantly as soon as we were done. That's dumb. That's really, really dumb. Um, let's reboot it once. So I'm gonna reboot this... So we're going to restart the system here. Um, apparently they had a lot to live for. Apparently so. Alright, we're going to reboot this. We're going to do... Uh, yeah. Okay, just auto-select it for me this time. Thank you. Hello? 
was waiting for the like steam bubbles to come up. Oh, that's clever, steam bubbles. I don't know why, did, I don't think that's actually why it's there. Come on, it's not that hard. Please. Come on, you can do it. There it is. Ooh, steam. Can I get my desktop environment? Switch to desktop mode. Maybe. John Wick and James Bond. I might watch that. I don't watch Death Battle too much, so we'll see. Uh, it's not going to do it. <sighs> yep, that's to be expected. Yep, no death, no, no death mode, no desktop mode. Get, get fucked, I guess. No, oh, it'll take Civ five. Interesting. Hmm. Well, this was a. Uh, Bit of a waste of my time. I was expecting like I was expecting something not this. This is kind of like a little frustrating. I, like, do they not have do they not have a like version three that I can try out? The base system draws from Debian eight. Uh, codename Divian Jesse, so it is, it's just version 2 is all we get. Version 3 download. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, oh, there's a GitHub for it. Yeah, we're not doing that. Alright, well that's been it. I'm gonna call it an end of the day. So what do you think? Better or worse than the Steam Machine? It is the Steam Machine. It's just that my hardware is better than the Steam Machine. So I guess by default it's this better than the better than the Steam Machine. Like the weakest point of the Steam Machine was the fact that it was crap hardware with a crap OS. Now this is just old, decent hardware with a crap OS. So like, I don't know. This is not a great like this is not a great user experience. Like I don't know. I've seen people being like, Windows is in trouble because you can just play Steam. It's like, yeah, okay, Steam OS, but like, this is not, this isn't good. This is just like, this is just a game console OS with Windows hardware or PC hardware. Can I, like, can I not get to, like, and half the shit that I changed settings on doesn't seem to do anything in your interface. Whatever, music, voices, features, Steam overlay, Steam play. I don't even have... You can use Steam play to test games. They're not verified. Sure, Proton. Proton! Oh! That's what I was waiting for! That's what I was looking for. All right, we're not done yet. Please hold. That's what I was waiting for. I was like... I was like, well, yeah, I can't play any other games. Sorry, we're not done yet. Well, we might be if it just crashed on me hard. Oh, boy. It's really sad that I'm, like, sitting here buying a Steam game while waiting for this thing to do its... There we go. There's the reboot. All right, let's try it now. Can I actually, it's actually gonna let me try it. All right, this is what I wanted to do. How big is this file? <laughs> How big of a commitment did I just make to downloading? Okay, 20 gigs, that's, uh, can I get to the top? 
No, apparently not. Really? Oh, it's got a web browser. Okay, current, no, no. Neat. So I gotta use, so, okay. Wait a minute. Can I get to, how do I? That's the search. There we go. Oh, it's downloading the Proton shit. All right, well, right, let's see what it does. I'm actually curious to see if it'll play Halo. Well, so it's 20 gigs, I think because it includes, I think by default when you download the Master Chief Collection first, it only gives you, I think it only gives you Halo CE and Halo 2 Anniversary. Don't know. Let's see if my internet speed can keep up. Uh, oops. There it is, downloads. Let's see how long this takes. Well, uh... Yeah, I mean, we're at... It's, it's chugging. Um, we might have to wait on this. I might do a video later, but, uh... Yeah, this is not, uh, not a great... Not a great first impression gonna be brutally honest here. The fact that you gotta go and actually like enable Proton manually, that's kinda kinda irritating. Hello? There we go. <laughs> uh. And I don't think this has a ready to play section, so uh, we might just call it a night, I think. We'll give it another few minutes to see if it, actually I think it's maxed out in terms of my internet speed, so yeah, it's not gonna get any faster. Oh boy. What Age of Empires game do I have? I don't know what Age of Empires game I have. Let's find out. Uh, ah, god damn. Age of Empires HD Edition. So, I don't know. It's, uh, it's one of them. Uh, Age of Empires 2 HD Edition, that's what it is. doing in, I don't know what's going on. All right. Well, I am getting the distinct feeling that, uh, I'm getting the distinct feeling that this is not gonna happen because it's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. All right, well, considering it's gonna take forever, uh, we're just gonna call it a night. So, sorry guys, I wanted to, I wanted to finish this with Master Chief Collection, but, uh, Apparently, one of the selling points of this, which is Proton, which allows you to play, you know, PC games untested on Steam OS. Uh, yeah, apparently, that's something you have to go and manually enable instead of prompting you for it when you go to request it. That's kind of dumb, actually. Like, when you use Mac OS and it wants to run something in Rosetta, you get one prompt initially saying, hey, in order to run this, we gotta download this. You say, okay, it does it, it turns it on, you're you're good to go. This, it's like, you can't install this, sorry. And it's like, oh, but uh, hey, if you go into the settings and just happen to stumble across like your download options and find where you can turn Proton on, we'll let you install whatever you want. That's kind of dumb. That's really dumb. I'm actually going to put that in my notes for when I talk about this. This has earned its own video. Which sometimes if something's earned, if something's earned its own video on my channel, it's either really impressed me, uh, gotten me just interested in something I never thought I'd be interested in, or it's not great and it's pissed me off in some way. This hasn't quite pissed me off, but it's just got a few things that I would take for granted on any other well-developed operating system that this hasn't done. 
All right, that's my rant. Thanks for swinging by, everybody. You guys are awesome, as always. Thanks for swinging by and hanging out. I'm going to go play Call to the Lamb until, like, early, early in the morning. And um, I'm going to let this sit and see how long it takes for it to finish. Um, but, yeah, I guess now I have a... I have a steam box for whatever it's worth, so. All right, see you guys. I'm gonna kinda walk all the way over here and turn it off because I'm streaming it off my iPad. Bye.